scandalous. Queen Elizabeth frankly rebuked Meghan's prima donna behavior left Harry irate. The Queen reportedly put Meghan Markle in her place after she threw a tiara tantrum a royal expert has claimed in his new book. The author of Meghan, the Hollywood princess has claimed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's behavior in the lead-up to their 2018 wedding caused tensions with the Queen. Author Andrew Morton has added six new chapters of the book that was first published in 2018. Mr. Morton writing in the Times spoke of how Meghan threw a tiara tantrum shortly before the wedding. He wrote, in November 2018, just days after the couple returned from their successful tour down under, the Times reported that Meghan had thrown a tiara tantrum. This was shortly before her wedding. The episode was because the tiara she wanted to wear was not available. Her prima donna behavior apparently earned the rebuke from the Queen herself. The Queen then told Harry, she gets what tiara she's given by me. In Mr. Morton's article, he also claimed Prince Harry was irate when Meghan did not get her way. Mr. Morton added that the Queen's dresser Angela Kelly became involved in the situation. He said that Ms. Kelly, who is the guardian of Her Majesty's jewellery, is said to have informed the irate prince that certain security protocols had to be adhered to in order to access the priceless piece. However, the author claimed that Prince Harry protested. It was reported that he told anyone who would listen that what Meghan wants, Meghan gets. Meanwhile, Andrew Morton has also claimed, Prince Harry's rage over Meghan Markle's wedding tiara sparked their tensions with the palace, but it was the Duchess who was branded difficult. In the bombshell piece, Andrew Morton, the author of Meghan, a Hollywood princess, claimed Harry was the prime mover in souring relations. Morton has relieved that it was actually Prince Harry that had kicked off leading up to their big day. He wrote, Harry was the prime mover in souring relations between the Sussexes and the royal family, but it was Meghan who took the hit. The Duke of Sussex reportedly shouted at royal dresser Angela Kelly when the tiara Meghan had planned on wearing for the wedding could not be produced for an unscheduled hair appointment. He says that Harry was overwrought when he learned that the tiara was not available and told anyone that would listen that, what Meghan wants, Meghan gets. Morton said, almost overnight, the narrative about her turned full circle, from Duchess difficult to Duchess dictatorial. Once that narrative was fixed in the popular imagination, it was almost impossible to change. Mr. Morton also claimed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were driven out by Prince William's bullying attitude. However, this accusation has always been strongly denied by Prince William. The brothers then went and made a joint statement about the accusations. It was the Cambridge's attitudes towards the Sussexes that allegedly caused the devastating split. The statement read, despite clear denials, a false story ran in a UK newspaper today speculating about the relationship between the Duke of Sussex and the Duke of Cambridge. For brothers who care so deeply about the issues surrounding mental health, the use of inflammatory language in this way is offensive and potentially harmful. The Duchess of Cambridge's coolness towards Meghan, and William's alleged bullying contributed to a devastating Cain and Abel fallout between the brothers, Mr. Morton wrote. It has always been denied that the Duke of Cambridge bullied his family members. Last year, both Harry and William stated that they were deeply, deeply unhappy about bullying claims. The Duke of Sussex was originally said by a royal source to have felt pushed out of the royal family by his big brother. But he spoke out with William slamming the offensive claims. In a rare show of unity, their statement read, despite clear denials, a false story ran in a UK newspaper today speculating about the relationship between the Duke of Sussex and the Duke of Cambridge. More recently, royal author Robert Lacey claimed that William threw Harry out in a blistering row over the bullying claims against Meghan.